Chat, here we go. It's Stizzy versus Evo. It's a matchup of the Dignitas teammates in a 1v1. That's right. If you guys haven't heard, Stizzy has made his way over to North America in a move that I don't think a ton of people predicted. Nice fake on the 360 flick. Or the potential 360 flick. Ultimately, it wasn't one. He just dropped it to the ground. But Stizzy is here. And I tell you what. Anytime a European comes over to North America, you have to think that that team made a huge jump. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm sorry. I love my North Americans. I, You guys know all the good things I have to say about, you know, Gyro as well. But there's no question that EU has had a little bit more success than NA. And they've had a ton of success when they brought players over as well. So we'll see how it might go for Stizzy alongside Dignitas. Evo going to get himself his first goal after being on offense following the Stizzy opener. He's in Toronto, says chat. So he should have a good protect, uh, connection here. I think it's... Oh, actually, he has a better connection than Evo to this USC server, which is crazy because Evo is known to live inside a server bay for some of these USC servers. Nobody can get better ping than him. I don't know if they have Maryland servers. I think that's where Evo and a few other people who have like immaculate ping sometimes on USC servers. Uh, but it must be around there. Yo, Dampen Hurts. Thank you for the Prime for two months. YouTube enjoyers showing supports. Yo. Contributing to the Prime till full-time movement. That's peak. If you watch the YouTube and you contribute to the Prime till full-time movement, let it be known that it, you are the reason why I may one day go full time. You can pat yourself on the back. Stizzy popping this one up high. Evo is really just going to be able to wait down on the ground. It's not really an opening. Evo did a good job covering the net well. That was something that Evo really did that leveled up his game is defensive end. Evo's always really been a creative attacker. A unique attacker. It was around the time that the defense got cleaned up and he started to make the leap. Okay, listen. I stand by my statement. Evo's offense is quite good. <laughs> it is quite good despite what looked like maybe an open net there. Or at least, you know, he could have scored inside that bottom right corner. Jackson Joe Bob, thank you for the brand new prime. Evo on the full field dribble from his own back corner after losing the kickoff into his corner. He's going to fake Stizzy out and why he took a second there to dive. I don't know. He wanted to make sure Stizzy got a touch on the ball before getting it dunked in. But he definitely could have reacted this quicker. For some reason, he decided to react probably as fast as I would have reacted. And I think he's a little bit better than me. Evo going for the one-time power shot off the wall. Not greedy on this angle. It's going to be really tough. Look at Evo's movement, though. He is zipping around this field right now. And watching from Stizzy's perspective, it, it seems like there's going to be a moment in which he gets possession, and each time a dashing Evo comes back into the play. Right now, he's on zero boost, so in a tough position. Stizzy actually makes a really strong touch out of Evo's half. Basically saying, I will let you get boost. I prioritize having space and having boost myself over keeping you pinned back. And I think in general, you know, a lot of ones is being played not that way right now. It's actually anytime you get a defender on zero, it's such a advantage. Players will do anything it takes to give constant attacks that do not allow retreats into boost. That's not what Sissy wanted to do there. He values his space and time. Right now, Evo up 3-2. We were talking about ranked on the leaderboard. If you're looking at the leaderboards for ones between these two guys, I think Stizzy is far ahead. But if you actually look at twos, twos is, you know, pretty important ranked leaderboards to look at for skill on every game mode, not just ones, uh, not just, you know, twos, but also, you know, I think RLCS players often value twos ranked pretty high, and Stizzy is going to react off this bump to get this goal. 
But anyways, all that being said, I'm trying to hype up Evo, who is currently rank one in the world, on 2v2, not just US East. I wonder if it helps Evo that he is on such good EU ping. I, I would imagine that he queues EU when I've seen him stream in the past, in the early mornings. Uh, he shows up, you know, in EU lobbies or when someone else is streaming on EU times. And I would think that getting rank one would be ideal to have good access to both US East and EU. Not to cheapen his uh, achievement or anything, or if anything, might even raise it. Assuming he's playing some games on EU, I think a lot of people would try and say EU ranked is a bit more competitive. It's not like Evo's doing it on US West where he's only farming NA. Probably. He's playing a good amount of games on both, if I had to guess. He does not queue EU. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he farms NA, says Frosty. I mean, I know I've for sure seen him in EU lobbies, uh, but I mean, if you're saying he might get the majority of his rank points, it could be like 98% on NA. I would hope that he would queue both. I, I think Evo being in a position where as he gets a quick catch and probably gets the outplay that will win him this game. I would think anybody who gets good enough ping to play on both should probably play on both. There might be some EU servers though that maybe he doesn't get under 100, but I'm pretty sure he gets like 80 on some EU servers. And so for those West Coasters like us who gets uh, 80 ping just regularly on the server, they basically have to play almost all the time. It, it just does, it just seems like regular Rocket League to me. Why would you complain too much about that? Fear, do more twos show matches. You know, the thing about two show matches is that you have to get uh, double the amount of people. You have to get four players instead of two, which makes it way harder. And oftentimes for it to make sense, whether that's making the audience want to watch or even the, the players want to play it, there has to be some kind of like storyline, if you ask me, like which is that, say, Dig versus some other team in NA or some very known, well-known duo playing against some other very well-known duo, especially in NA, where there isn't even countries, right? EU, you can get away with it really easy because you can just be like, ah, uh, French versus English, and you can get almost anybody you know, from either nationality. Uh, in the US, it's hard to do twos because it's like yeah, everybody just feels like a big melting pot. So how do you create a storyline of one team versus another? East, Central, West. Could be a way. Could be a way. Why does there need to be a storyline? You know, maybe there doesn't. Maybe I'm thinking about it all wrong, but I, I think that uh, to make it an interesting twos match and not just like another ranked game that you might as well just watch a pro's ranked 2v2 stream of, there needs to be like a kind of storyline. Evo, Airgible Bump. Making it 2-1. You go back in all the way off into his corner, but Stizzy did as well. So <laughs> the fact is, ball's at the midfield. And Evo somehow gets away with being able to get there. Stizzy! Did he slow the ball down on the first touch, or did he just dodge it? And then he was able to land on the sidewall and get back. Now he's attacking through the air. Can he get the counterattack as well? The fake. They've been faking each other a ton. And this one is effective. As the bounce is off the crossbar. Ooh, did I just see a pogo teaser? The good thing about seeing any player on a goal explosion pogoing means they practiced it a little bit. Which means we might just see it on offense before the goal. Evo, look at the shot. Or I should say the setup. The shot actually ended up being fairly weak, but the wave dash pop into wall dash catch up could have led to something spectacular, but he just went for a power shot down, which played right into Sizzy. Sizzy, a couple different fakes. Seeing Evo shadowing, he does not want to commit until Evo finally looks the challenge and he actually baited him into a pretty poor reverse challenge and double jumped it over the top of him right now both players are playing fairly passive defense I would say 
And it's leading to a lot of fakes, a lot of opportunities on the goal line in which you know the, the correct choice from the offense is probably just to fake instead of trying to go for an outplay. Outright, that is. Is Dizzy dodging potential demo and a flick past Evo. And a 4-2 lead for the Spaniard, who is hopefully not dealing with jet lag, at least not too much anymore. I'm not sure I'm not sure how recently he came over. Probably fairly recently. Probably actually trying to work it out right now, if I'd imagine. Because he wants to make sure he's ready to go by this weekend. Is it Thursday or Friday, chat? But the first games are played. Does NA have to play four days of qualifier or three? I know it ends on Sunday, but I'm not exactly sure when it starts, to be honest. How many, you know, platinums do they have to fight through in the early rounds? Ooh, what a save, Evo. Recovers to take that one away. Wants the full field counterattack, but Stizzy's back in time. It starts on 7 Friday. Okay, so only three days they have to play. Stizzy going to take advantage of a whiff by Evo. He said, holy lag. I mean, that would make sense considering <laughs> what is he doing there. <laughs> that would make a little bit of sense. He got the glitch. Oh, Stizzy's going to give him one. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty clearly <laughs> something weird. I mean, or Eva brain lagged. Oh, he was kidding. Oh, <laughs> he, got, he got himself a goal. He just scammed himself a goal. It was brain lag. <laughs> He's actually 200 IQ. He just scammed himself a goal <laughs> after brain lagging. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got to start using that. Anytime I just ultra whiff. Oh, holy lag. Never know, they might just give me a goal back. <laughs> I gotta be using that all the time. Stizzy still with the one goal lead and keeping ball cam on for this dribble, which is a very interesting decision because it was very off center of his car, so seem to be pulling it away awkwardly. I certainly don't have the experience dribbling with it on to keep the ball on, but he seemed to. Oh, look at this shot from Stizzy. A little resets, and he uses it on the bounce in order to shoot the ball top right. Interesting use of a reset. Not often do you see that. I mean, you sometimes see it with a wave dash specifically. And Stizzy, though, not wave dashing, just flipping across the ground. Now trying to launch a flick from the midfield. He's got a two-goal lead with 50 seconds left to go. He needs to be careful here. Evo, boom to the back wall. A high bounce, one that is pad worth of boost. is not going to be enough to go up and make a play on. He saves this one off his own back wall, trying to snipe the bottom left corner. He is ever so slightly wide. He needs to turn on the play, and yeah, does he give him an opportunity here? Evo has no choice but to be aggressive down two. And man, Stizzy has 92 boost as well. And he thought he could get away with letting this ball come all the way to the ground, which is definitely a mistake. I thought he was out of boost. I saw him not using any. So I thought, oh, he's just doing his best to protect the ball. But yeah, with 92, no question. You have to make a better play on the ball. Protect it from getting clean stolen like that. 20 seconds left to go. And Stizzy is again in control of the ball, avoiding... Evo's pressure, and now attacking on an air dribble. Has to save some boost, I would imagine, here to make sure the recovery is there in case the ball doesn't go in. Evo again chasing out for a demo, doesn't get it, and Stizzy instead bumps to secure game number two and tie up the series. Game number three. Stizzy and Evo. Stizzy, a delay kickoff. Evo actually chips up over the top of it and is now going to try and attack from the corners. 46 to work with on this one. Uses the flip to get most of the movement out to the midfield, but couldn't figure out a way to get a shot attempt out of it. 
When did these guys team? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. That's actually a great question. Is he... Lick over the backboard as Evo would love for Stizzy to back off. I'm actually really surprised Evo ended up getting this early touch. The ball was coming down for a really clean bounce for an aerial attack. The only reason why he'd want to touch it early is if he thought Stizzy was going to turn back in, but I feel like Stizzy had one, has been giving him space in the match a ton so far, and seems to be giving him space again. But Evo will be the first one to score as he taps it around Stizzy here on the sidewall. Thoughts on the new Clash of Clans update? You know, I'm really glad that you're asking me because I am, of course, the resident expert on the mobile game Clash of Clans that I have never played. And let me tell you, ugh, I can't believe it. I can't believe that they added boost meters onto nameplates in Clash of Clans. Like, come on. <laughs> what are you going to do? Hold their hand? Hold the player's hand forever? I mean, come on. Where's the skill? Evo. Another midfield interception and a follow-up to keep this bounce underneath the crossbar. Big kick out for Evo and instantly punished as Stizzy collects the ball and flicks it over the top of him. Fake gamer? Fake gamer for never playing Clash of Clans? Listen, uh, maybe this is a boomer take that I have, but in my generation of gamers, if you said you played a mobile game, you were the fake game. Stizzy, another fake. These guys have faked each other like crazy. Evo soaring past the potential reset. Nowadays, I imagine, you know, mobile games, for one, are probably just getting a bit better and, and a bit closer to, you know, other games anyways. But I'm not sure if Clash of Clans is one of those examples. Maybe it is. But also, I think gamers are just, you know, playing mobile games from the very beginning. So there's probably less stigma around it, I would imagine. Fear, I want you to look at my comment and absorb it right now. If you want high views, get the best player in the world, Rawas. Oh, <laughs> of course. Wait, chat. Of course. That's why we got this emo. This emotes. Chat. <laughs> chat, absorb it. Of course. Oh my goodness. We've unlocked it. The secret to infinite viewers. Ooh, nice flick. Look at this catch. This does not need to be a counterattack goal from Stizzy. And this is actually a really awkward place to play with Evo correctly shadowing just outside the wall, making any catch awkward or what should be awkward, but Stizzy does a good job to catch, collect, flick, and send it soaring at a pace that Evo can't even catch back up to. Stizzy, interesting they did not turn ball cam back on. He's like, I know the ball somewhere. <laughs> I'm just going to hang out until the indicator shows back up. Evo has been able to deep possess Stizzy a ton and just turn it in for direct goals. And I mean, here's Stizzy. He's not anywhere close to goal side of the ball. He's all the way around it on Evo's side. Now a kickoff goal. Going to put Evo up two. How to actually get top players on your stream. Promise them money, but don't actually give it to them. Repeat steps one and two until you have enough money from streaming to pay them back. <laughs> it's a perpetual motion, but with cash. Wait a second. At first I thought you were just, you know, 
gonna just scam the players. But as I finished reading the whole thing, you might have a point. <laughs> Personally, I like to play players as soon as possible and my skin crawls, you know, for every day that goes by that they don't get paid. So usually I just pay them right after the stream. What if I just deal with that? Oh, Evo. <laughs> What if I just deal with that and scam them instead? I never thought of that. Look at the reset. Musty backboard. Double. Stizzy. Not stopping that one. That one's not a fake. I don't know why Dark doesn't make a YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, Dark... Really, some of the top players should just... If they don't already have YouTube channels, they should get like a manager or something who just takes their replays and you don't even need to upload them publicly. You could just give them to your replay guy and they just like crank out the videos like they're doing for Zen. Zen's channel is doing it right now where it's like Zen does nothing. No, no voice overlay, nothing. Some editor just takes his ranked replays and makes 100,000 view videos off of it. Like you gotta be doing that if you have the level of, uh, you know, interest that Zen has, that Dark has. Evo with 20 seconds left to go and a four goal lead. Looking for a double reset. Oh, look at this shot. It's not the way I imagined it to end. But he gets one reset. Flips into another. And then Wave Dash jumps the ball. Ends up putting it just underneath the crossbar. A victory by a big margin. How much do you pay players? Uh, I, I give him the prize from the show matches. And so any donations that happen during the stream. And then the tournaments are probably the biggest way I pay them. Because most of the tournaments, if not like almost all the tournaments that I've run, are just, they just come from me, funded by me. Game number three, gonna go to Evo. Game number four. Evo and Stizzy flipped a bit. Thank you for the two one for 34 months. 34 months. Sheesh. Voice gone. Voice get pirates on a boat. I mean, they could go to NA. You know, I don't know if that will. Wait a second. Evo's trying to go insane here. Wave dashing. Reverse wave dashing onto the ceiling. Stizzy actually decided to cut it off. And I think that that is a stark contrast to the way that both these guys had been playing the match so far. They've been very reactive. Stizzy. Getting out ahead though, trying to challenge a bit earlier. Evo completely out of boost, and so this time, wise of Stizzy to not challenge. I'm actually surprised he used a ton of boost. He had 60, and he used it all to get to the midfield, which means he left nothing for an outplay. But what I didn't realize is he's actually going for the Pogo outplay, which did have a chance of working there. But Evo was able to take it away. Dizzy has completely changed up his defensive strategy, it would seem here, after the 8-3 win for Evo. He is not allowing Evo to go to work in the air. And it seems to have paid off so far. Evo already not on track to score eight in this game. But Evo will show that if you challenge him in the air, he'll get you on occasion. And right now, or so far in the series, it's just been each other faking left and right because everyone has been playing it so passive. When you do challenge, you do expose yourself to potentially get outplayed in the air. And it's probably a little bit more exciting for the viewers to watch as well, but I have a feeling Stizzy cares less about that and more about getting the win, which he should. But I do think it's probably better for him overall to try and challenge Evo much earlier or at least start throwing in big challenges like he is now. Evo landing. And leaving the ball available for Stizzy. Stizzy's shown some solid flicks, but this one was not one of them. Put it directly on Evo, which means he's going to get scored on. Have to force Evo to save it off into the corner by putting it in either direction. But allowed Evo to get a standstill save and have the ball drop right in front of him. In the meantime, Stizzy had used the last bit of boost he had and sent himself soaring into the net, which is just 
It's about the worst combination you could ask for. Now Stizzy. Too strong of a first touch. Gonna allow Evo to challenge. Can't even make up for that. He actually has a beautiful bounce. <laughs> this is about uh, the best you could ask for from that situation in terms of turning it into an aerial. Now gonna head to the ceiling. Evo pre-jumped it, floating it <laughs> in front of the play, but never able to get a touch, so Stizzy will get on the board. Oh, Evo, he just misread it. I mean, I would think most times he's making that play off the wall. Pinch Charlito, thank you for the tier one, the brand new tier one. Great to have you here. Oh, someone wants to offer a promotion for our channel for viewers, followers, views, chat, bots. The price is lower than any competitor. Chat, listen. I want to reveal my secret, but if you're here in chat because I paid you, type one. Evo, it's actually a really nice preflip flick. If you guys actually know, for a while the preflip flick on the ground was called the Evo, like the Evo flick. Yeah, see, I mean, <laughs> listen, we can't we can't get too mad at those people trying to sell services. Because when you guys all admit that you're here because I paid you, so. People just trying to, you know, get involved in the game. You got stock options? <laughs> Your payment hasn't come through yet? Listen, it's coming. Evo, look at this angle. Oh, Stizzy! Oh, I thought he got it. But he only got it off the post, not in. But watch it from Stizzy's perspective. He's not thinking he has to deal with this tight of an angle shot. Evo getting around the ball really nicely. Evo has always been a guy that's been fairly mechanical. And it seems like he has been able to improve it as time has gone on. Converting it into game wins, into ranked twos wins, that's for sure. Rank one in the world. Now doing his best to see how you can convert it into RLCS wins to finish it off. Stizzy big challenge gets Evo to jump. I mean, Evo, for those of you who might be new, you know, new chat, you guys talk about new fear. Well, I'm sure there are some people who are new chat and new chat doesn't know that Evo has been around longer than anybody else on the channel. Easily has the most matches played on stream and certainly the majority of those were done in the early days. The old fear days, as Evo has pre-flip, air dribble, and protecting of the ball. Basically a bump, but it's such a soft bump, it almost feels like it makes more sense to consider, consider it like protection, not allowing a save. Dizzy. Maybe the higher rated ones player, but it's looking like he's running into an Evo that is popping off right now. Is he going to pogo score that? His interception was unorthodox. But he has just shown to be another level here against Dizzy. Evo in form. I admit incorrectly before the stream started. A little fake from Dizzy. I pointed to Evo's ones rank as a sign that maybe he wasn't as ready to play some ones, but I had forgotten. Rank one and twos, nobody gets that without being on form. Although, as I say this, I'm just like, <laughs> Stizzy's gonna come back and win and take the series, so maybe I just need to shut up. As I was saying, Stizzy, looking like the better ones player, and he's certainly gonna come back here in 24 seconds and send it to a game five and then win it. <laughs> Stizzy with the reset, the fake! <laughs> If there's one thing we can know for sure, it's that I do not know ball. <laughs> Stizzy absolutely doing Evo dirty. Hitting him with the take the shot as well. Evo though, kickoff win. Could save my reputation right here for the low 50, but Stizzy dunks it off the top. And now has 57 boost to work with. Evo steals it and he might have a ground pinch. Uh, not quite. Instead, 
He gets bumped away, and it's overtime in game number four. Evo out of the corner. Stizzy able to ceiling pinch this one. All the way to the back wall, but Evo, he's not afraid to take the full field dribble. He wants the bump. Stizzy gets around it, makes the save, gets his own boost. And now he has a bit of space to, to work with. Evo actually missed the midfield, so he's going to be forced to fully retreat whether he wanted to or not. And now he's pre-jumping. Did he go off the post? Does he have a flip still? He does! He went off the inside of his net. <laughs> so he could save the flip. Evo, I mean, that is something new. And, and that's what I love seeing. I've watched a million matches, and I have not seen someone use that outside of a freestyling context. He made his pre-jump challenge so he could save his boost, or sorry, save his flip across the whole challenge. And now he's got himself a possession. A minute into OT. Looks like he was going to go for the power slide cut to beat Stizzy, but Stizzy goes into a shadow and actually might have the counterattack here. Evo wanted the Evo flick. We talked about it earlier. The pre-flip flick that he loved to do. And he was going for it with way too close of a defender. So Stizzy just steals it right off the top. And <laughs> like I've always said, this one's going game five. This one's going game five. Game five. Dignitas Evo versus who knows Stizzy. You'll notice he's not in any clan. So it's impossible to know what team he might play for. I heard that he was just taking a trip to Canada for vacation. Now, why he went to Canada for vacation right after roster lock and before the season starts. It's impossible to know. Evo was able to sneak that one near post and <laughs> threw the what a save at Stizzy. Ooh, that one got denied. Stizzy he has gone to that musty across the whole field a couple times, but it's not going to work with Evo fully back. It's actually going to have to be really strong, even with Evo's close in order to have it outpace a retreating defender, it's got to be packed with heat. Both these guys thought Stizzy was going to take a touch, or at least I should say, Evo got faked. Stizzy looked like he was going to make this touch off the wall, and Evo obviously, if he doesn't see Stizzy there, he just dunks that in for free. But he's trying to pre-read the clear, get out in front of it, and dunk it in. And that means nobody hits the ball, so nice little... Fine game from Stizzy, and an important one, and a gutsy one, I should say, on defense. Because obviously he looks really silly if Evo just dunks the ball. Evo forced to just play off of this pogo off the sidewall. Did a decent enough job with it. Stizzy, this time going for the lower musty. Again, though, the placement, the power. One of them's going to have to be there to try and catch Evo off guard. Evo swinging wide of the net. Stizzy wants the bump, gets it, and has the lead. Evo, little camera check to see what Stizzy's up to. I've talked about it before, but the person who I think leads the league, leads the 1v1 league in camera checks or camera movements, off ball cam, like actually using the stick, is Evo. I mean, at least when he's played in the past, he seems to not be affected at all by moving his camera. I just about never touch my camera when I play. And as soon as I do, I'm instantly thrown off and lose all control of my car. I assume at least a couple people in chat feel the same way. Not the case with Evo. Dark moves his camera around constantly. Uh, I'm not counting toggling between ball cam and uh, car cam, just to be clear. I'm talking about specifically using your stick, which maybe Dark does. I believe that. I know he like spams ball cam like crazy at every moment because it seems like he just wants to get his APM up no matter what. It's 
Dizzy single jumping over the top of Evo, but just because you avoid the demo doesn't necessarily mean you're going to come out ahead in the play. Although, actually, it might have been that slight bump by Evo that threw off Stizzy's flip and didn't have the ball clear the way he wanted it to. You know, push him just slightly off his angle, and that can be enough. Ooh, what a save from Evo. Stizzy was out ahead after a win on the side wall, and there was just nothing that Stizzy, or sorry, that, yeah, could have stopped Stizzy except the demo, so. Great interception, and then Stizzy just respawns and dives instantly, and Evo reads that. Evo. A ton of touches off the back wall in the process of bringing the ball down for a 50. Stizzy's going to drop the lucky as Evo, he says, luckily gets a bump to send him away. But there's nothing lucky about being just outside the net, that's for sure. Bruh, I would have won by now. I let you go game five. Okay. Little beef. Clearly not teammates. I could not imagine these guys playing alongside each other on this very intense, very real beef. Evo missed the back corner boost, tried to sneak a backflip shot in. But Stizzy will send it to the moon and Evo just passed the ball to Stizzy at the midfield. It's gonna allow a solid possession, power slide cut. You know, he didn't let it get out in front of the net enough, I think, to really catch Evo off guard before he could get faked out by the movements. It had already been chipped back. So he just continues to shadow. Stizzy has to pre-flip to recover back to this one. And now a dribble starting in his box. We haven't seen too much aerial game from Stizzy. And that flip won't do it. It doesn't work out as a fake. And that means it's going to be a freebie for Eva, who is trying to cut it on the goal line. Nah, man, you just have luck. <laughs> Well, he's luckily up two with a minute left to go. <laughs> Stizzy denied as Evo doesn't go to the kickoff here late in the match. Not allowed to wave dash. Almost looked like he wave dash over the top of Stizzy. Stizzy. Probably needs to score on this take if he wants to bring it back. Air dribble protection. Not quite bump, but he gets around this ball and doesn't allow Evo to get into the save. Evo reacting really late as well. Stizzy, kickoff control. He has flicked past Evo a few times. This time he goes for the low 50. And Evo has to respect this earlier in the game. Stizzy has been able to launch flicks off these same positions. And now he gets faked into a low 50. Now has 31 seconds left to go. Evo trying to say we're only in game five because he allowed it. <laughs> it's not looking too good for him right now. Oh, Stizzy fakes first. Evo is in net, low 50. Stizzy should be able to reset on the 100. How is he out of the corner though? Evo tries to challenge early, so Stizzy heads to the ceiling, lands back down, and he catches Evo as Evo just dives again and again. The first dive wasn't the end of the world, but on zero boost, he decides to wave dash challenge immediately, and Stizzy pops it over the top of that. We can play for money. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> he got Rod. I think, did we add an emote for that? I'm not sure. I thought someone did. But either way, oh, Evo, he needs to get this ball in the air. He's going to have an opportunity on the side wall to tie it up, send it to game five OT, the reverse wave dash into the ball. Stizzy doesn't stop it. That ball was probably pixels away from hitting ground. As Stizzy jumps over the top of it, he drops it. That's lucky, to be honest. <laughs> he tried to pin it down. But Evo found a way through, and it's game five OT. 
Can Stizzy finish it off? Or will Evo try and prove his points that it shouldn't have been in game five anyways? He has first possession here. Stizzy fake challenge though. Got him to go early, but the ball popped over the top. It's crossbar post and out. So Stizzy gonna have a chance, 36 boost. It's gonna be hard to get this out of the corner and in front of the net and a real scoring chance, but he actually almost found a sliver of an angle. That being said, it is an Evo possession. Stizzy dives. He doesn't wanna let Evo get down to the ground and get a clean one, but this one is open and Evo will win. <laughs> He drops a what a save. Stizzy says luck. Evo luckily got to that ball early off the sidewall as Stizzy dove in. <laughs> oh, the beef. Certainly, these guys will never team. GG's. Thanks for playing, Evo and Stizzy.